Hello there, welcome back to another epic video about Xamarin. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to open Instagram from your application. For example, maybe you wanted to link your Instagram account uh, from your application, they click on a button, boom, they can follow you. So, first things first, uh, we will be needing to use uh, Xamarin Essentials for this, so let's head over to our web browser and I'll teach you guys a bit about what we're using. So Xamarin Essentials, and what's cool about this is generally this plugin is already installed. If you go over to Solution over here, Manage Jet Packages for Solution, and in the installs, you will see that Xamarin Essentials is already installed. If it's not installed, please give it an install because uh, it's kind of uh, crucial to what we're building here. So let's come over to here to Xamarin Essentials. Let's search for uh, launcher, which is what we would be using over here. So, Xamarin Essentials Launcher, uh, it's basically a class that allows you to open applications uh, using their URL schemes. Uh, so basically, like, similar to these URLs up here, applications will have uh, their own URL schemes that you can sort of open from your phone and it'll just launch the app to a specific uh, part in the app, like maybe your Instagram story or, uh, so I don't know, some uh, profile on Instagram. So anyways, well, we will be using Launcher. And Launcher has uh, these two main methods. And, well, actually, there are three main methods. Uh, it's can open async. Uh, basically, um, it checks if uh, the launcher can open it. And then you use launcher.openAsync uh, to open that URL scheme, uh, to open the application from the, its URL scheme. Uh, this is okay and all, but it's kind of longer. This try open async does the exact same thing. Except if it can't open it, it will return false. And if it can open, it will return true and also open the application. So it's basically uh, the combination of uh, these two. So let's go over here. Let's get rid of that. Let's come over to our project, main page.saml. As you see, I have this button. Let's change the text from review to Instagram. And if you see here, let's go over to the event handler here and let's use it. So let me get rid of this from last uh, video. And let's type in launcher dot. Now we need a, a using directive to Xamarin Essentials. Try open async. Uh, and now it is uh, time for the actual URL scheme. Ah, uh, here. Okay, so let me just show you. There. So, obviously I have to await this as well. Okay, so this is the uh, URI scheme. Uh, we have Instagram, colon, slash, slash, user. Uh, basically, you need this part, and then over here, you will be writing your username. In my case, my username is generic bulb, and it should open my application page or my profile page. Uh, so this will only work if it can actually launch Instagram and for that Instagram is actually needed. Uh, so I will not be able to show you here on the emulator but I do guarantee that uh, this URL scheme works if you use it like so. Uh, another cool thing that uh, you should be doing is encasing this in an if statement actually because what this does is it re returns a value. Tr it returns true if it can open it and then it actually opens and it returns false if it cannot open it for some reason. For example, Instagram's not actually downloaded on the thing. So what you want to do is add uh, this, the negate symbol so that means if it returns false then do something. And here generally you want to display a pop-up like Instagram has not been installed or uh, await display alert and uh, so forth. Uh, you can uh, launch many different applications using URL schemes. Uh, I have not been able to find one website that sort of just sums all of the URL schemes together, uh, but I am on the search for it, and if I find it, uh, it'll probably be linked in the description. Until then, uh, bye. 